Hey everyone, welcome to Carswell's Customs. I want to talk about the installation of the AEM 30-3300 water methanol kit. I installed the, um, the nozzle or the injector back here in the um, EGR area. We've got an EGR block off plate uh, made by my buddy Tom and I tapped that EGR block off plate with a 1 8 uh, dash 27 NPT um, tap. So that's what the threads are on this nozzle and I'm using the 500 cc jet inside this nozzle. Now installation was pretty straightforward. The uh, push lock hose, this nylon hose, um, pushes right into the back of this um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a little sleeve inside there and it holds it tight. And what I did was I ran the, um, see I ran the line right with the uh, fuel lines. So there's the feed rut line, fuel return line, and the uh, vent line. I ran this right in the same um, attachment pieces that connect to the frame. I zip tied this line all the way back as like a temporary install just to verify everything was going to work. And so that seemed to be a really good place to install it and run it to the um, trunk because the fuel lines are really well protected from road debris. So we'll take it to the trunk here. So here's the one gallon tank. I had an old and I mounted it on an old, this is a, this metallic uh, mount is a cold air intake. Uh, actually, so the the steel part that insulates the engine bay uh, heat to the uh, air cleaner, and it makes a great little uh, great little mount. So put rib nuts in the back there and on the ground, and tank or uh, attach the tank to the uh, to the steel. And then we ran the fuel or sorry the uh, water meth line to the pump, and then ran that through a hole right there. And so now that all the testing is done and everything is works the way I want, I'll go ahead and protect the water meth line with some rubber grommets. Uh, wiring is pretty easy too. Um, I soldered every joint. Um, just makes things a lot more reliable. And you can see it runs right to the battery as well. So. Like I said, installation is pretty easy and straightforward. Just running the wires is pretty much the most difficult thing um, in, the, uh, in the trunk here. Again, another temporary install on the uh, inside the cabin here, or inside the vehicle. I went ahead and ran the wiring to a switch. So when I flip the switch, The AEM goes into a ready state where you can barely see the light, both lights. Okay. Now again, I use the 500cc jet for my power level and this um, the supercharger and the 5.7 seem to work well. The, um, the dials are set to where the boost comes in, right at 1 PSI a boost, and then shuts off, let me move the light here, at about... 20 psi of boost now this car doesn't go to 20 psi of boost it goes to about 12 but the ramp rate really is what you're adjusting here with these two nozzles and it took a minute for me to kind of wrap my head around it so there's a linear ramp rate of the amount of methanol that's injected into the engine and so if you set your first dial here at one and then your second dial at 10 from 1 to 10 you're going to ramp right to uh, 500 cc's of uh, water meth and so yeah, I guess if you need that aggressive rate awesome but for me it uh, just misfired because there was too much water and meth um, in the uh, in the supercharger getting forced into the cylinders uh, just too much so what I had to do is play with it and I adjusted it for the best at least for my situation is 1 psi and then to 20 because when it once the, pre, the the boost goes up to about 10 or 12 psi then the um the ramp rate is a lot less severe than sending and setting this at you know 1 to 10 
because as soon as 10 PSI hits, boom, you're getting all 500 cc. Uh, works for me when I spread it out a little bit. Less of a less of a hit of all the uh, meth and uh, water coming in. You'll see there is a uh, boost line a map sensor inside the uh, inside the controller, and this runs out to the uh, underneath the supercharger to the Holly High Ram intake manifold. So this is what I run for water meth. It's uh, from Snow Performance. It's uh, Boost Juice. I know Lucas Oil Products, they have an ethanol mix. Um, I think it's 90 ethanol and 10% water, and they also have a 50-50 water methanol mix. Right now I'm using Snow, but I will go ahead and try the other ones, and I'll report back on the, on the performance. But I usually go through a gallon of Boost Juice for every three hours of driving. So on the way to St. Ignis, I drove back roads halfway, which were through towns at about 55 miles an hour, and then on the expressway, the other half. So if you're just driving around, at least for my uh, jet size and where my boost comes in, I got about three hours per one gallon of regular, just soft driving. Um, obviously, if you get your foot in it a lot, you can burn through these a lot quicker. All right, so let's take a look at how I tuned the uh, water meth injection to work alongside the uh, PE or power enrichment in the uh, uh, Dodge tune here. So the orange line is represents our wideband air fuel ratio. This is the line and this is the dotted line represents desired. The desired air fuel ratio I'm looking for after everything is put in together is 11 and a half. I set my um, power enrichment in the tune to 12 and a half because the Water meth is supposed to add uh, one point of AFR. So this is our target after all the additions are, are, are made. Um, the pink line is going to indicate boost. Red line is RPM. Throttle position is the bright green. And the fuel mass of cylinder one, this is the relationship to the amount of fuel injected per time, and usually in milliseconds. Now this is a, has a direct action on the injectors. So as we're rolling around, rolling along here, we're at 1438 air fuel ratio, and you can see my throttle, my TPS is increasing a little bit, and then so I've got a dip here, which is something I tuned into the uh, into the computer, and then once we hit a specific TPS of 21 percent throttle, um, the power enrichment activates and it drops down, and it drops down quite aggressively. We're a little low, but I'm not too worried about it because we're ramping up our RPMs here. And you can see I've also related the boost to this dotted line as well. So as soon as we pass this dotted line going up, the boost is rising. So our boost pressure's uh, rising, my throttle's increasing a little bit, and then here I nail it and I'm into full throttle. So where's our air-fuel ratio? right now. Well, we're about 1236 and the RPMs are rising. So I'm into full throttle now and in full boost and why things are, uh, while all this is working together, I'm at 11.81 air fuel ratio. So <clears throat> boost, we're almost 12 PSI and the RPMs are increasing. So the water meth should be uh, engaged. This is at the setting I, shown, I showed earlier, which was uh, 1 PSI on the controller, and uh, it ends at 21 PSI on the controller as well. So the RPM's increasing, air-fuel ratio staying at 11.8, and then we're, the RPM's still increasing, and then we've got a shift here. So once we get to the shift here, um, spark is pulled, and then you can see the torque uh, is, uh, goes down to allow that shift to occur, uh, make it a little easier on the transmission. And here we go again, down in the RPMs, and RPMs are increasing. My foot's still in it, and we're rolling, and it looks like about here I'm at 12 uh, air fuel, which is off of our um, desired, which is at 11 and a half, and it gets up to 12.32, 33, and then another shift occurs. So as you can see with the air fuel getting up around 12.37. I got a couple options. One, I can go into the um, fuel mass over here and increase the amount of fuel 
that's um, that's being injected at this time frame. Um, so more fuel per milliseconds, or I can go back to the water methanol controller and then try to increase the amount of uh, rate that the water meth is ramped into the cylinders. So this isn't exactly perfect. It's getting us close, but I think this is a good representation of how you set it up, um, set your air fuel ratio up uh, in the computer at one AFR point higher than the uh, your desired, and then let the meth come in and, and bring it down to what your um, target is. And again, for me, it's boosted, and I have no intercooler, so 11.5 is my target, and we're doing we're doing pretty good. A little bit more work though, it'll be there. So. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya.